Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Flores Expanded. Now, when we left off, we had King Harlaus barking at our door, or at least he will be soon enough. So, I think we may head into the tavern and potentially try to find a few mercenary units. Yes. Oh, Ransom Broker. I need that. Oh, yes. 2,700. Yes, fine. Take them. Yes, very nice. Thank you. Okay, so... Oh, my. I don't have enough of that. Do I? Ooh, <laughs> they are very high, aren't they? Very high-powered units. Let's take them. Okay, thank you very much. Now, the only issue I'm finding right now is obviously King Harlas right outside, and my dinars are very low, so... Let us wait here for some time, and he is going to siege it, no doubt. Yes. Oh my... Okay, well, I can only hope that our first aid skill does a good job, and we are able to defend it. Oh, okay, what I have to do before we do this is save. Yes, good idea, isn't it? Yes, thank goodness I remembered. Okay, so let us wait here for some time. Do I own any acres here? Nope. Okay, that's great. <laughs> I'll have to buy some soon enough. Now, yes, wait again, and we will see... How it goes from here. Oh, and Oxcarl has been besieged by the Rodox. No! Oh, no. That is not good. Oh, my goodness. We can only hope that King Harlow starts his siege earlier rather than later because I don't want to lose both of them. Oh, no. Okay, let's do it. Come on. King Harlaus, yeah, that's what you get. Okay, so, he only has 430. I say only. <laughs> yes, only. Okay, so, let us join the battle. I don't think we can actually plan anything. Can we? Plan your battle? No, I don't really want to do that. So, yes, join the battle. Oh, my. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure we have a suitable enough force to defend against them, so just cross your fingers, everyone. We do need as much luck as possible to pull this off. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, so let me get to one of the ladders. Oh, no, perhaps not. I don't actually want to get shot in the face. That would be a great idea, wouldn't it? Ah, uh, okay, let's get out my crossbow and actually do some damage. Okay, take out this guy. Oh, wow, I actually did no damage? He must have blocked it, okay. That was rather disappointing, to say the least. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh, my. Come on, guys. Defend! Defend for all your worth. Oh, my goodness, we are getting overrun already. Oh my. Hmm. Do we have archers up there? We do. Okay, that's good. Okay, so I definitely need to start attacking something, so hopefully I can get through here and maybe get a few slashes in. Yes, here we go. Okay, I'm killing a few, or at least one, so far. Go on. Let me slash him. Let me slash him. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, here we go. We're getting the kills. Getting some damage in. We need to take down as many as possible. We are against a superior numbered force. We must make it count every single swing. Yes. Yes. Oh, no, no. They're starting to focus me now a little bit. But we have taken them all out apart from this one ramp right here. This one ladder entry point. Oh, my. Okay. I have to be a little cautious of the archers down there because they are rather efficient, I have to say. I am rather impressed with the Swadian's archery skills. Come on. Yes. Yes. Take him down. Take him down. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm taking damage. Oh, I'm stuck here as well. This is great. Okay, well, let's do some damage here. Yes. Yes. Okay, they're coming in the other side as well. We have to be... Very careful of that, actually, so we don't get flanked. And I'm getting shot by something. These guys over there on that ramp. Oh, my goodness, no. Oh, no, he fell down. Oh, he is probably dead, isn't he? I hope not. Come on, you have to take them down. Oh, yes. He's doing a Steven Seagal move. 
Come on. Kill them from behind, dude. <laughs> yes. Okay, I have to actually move over here, perhaps, and shore up their defenses a little bit. Move behind them. Oh, never mind. Okay. They took them out very nicely. Okay, so let's reload our crossbow behind the wall here. And maybe get a free shot off before they actually get to the top. Yeah, yeah, headshot. That's what you get. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now back to sword and shield. Let's do it. Oh, very nice headshot from one of our archers right there. Okay, I'm going to try and draw them away from our main force so they have two different ways that they need to go and think about. Hopefully the AI will get utterly confused. I just have to tell it a paradox and then it will blow itself up, no doubt. Okay. Come on. Yes, yes, we're back to our mainstay position right here. Hopefully be able to take out a serious amount of units before their reinforcements come in. We don't seem to be doing that badly, actually. If I do say so myself. Oh my goodness, I've just jinxed myself right now. Okay, well. <laughs> Maybe you guys can unjinx me somehow. Just say that I'm terrible. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, I already know that, so perhaps it wouldn't be an unjinxing. Yeah, there we are. Oh, okay, so these units are actually really low. Wow, okay, I am very pleased with this. Perhaps that is all King Harlaus actually had in his army, because I know some of the leaders do actually like to take a lot of low-level units to level them up along the way, and the numbers aren't really doing a very good job for him here. So, I can only hope that we will prevail in the end. Come on, let's do it. Oh, no. No, oh, I almost fell off there. Did you see that? Oh my goodness. It's just because there's so many bodies, you can't actually see where the ground is. Oh. <laughs> okay. Go on. Take these guys. Yeah. They're very low tier, aren't they? I can kill them in one hit. That is rather extravagant, I have to say. And there's actually a guy trying to flank our archers there, but I don't believe they will allow that. So hopefully they will just pick him off. Oh, is this the same guy? I don't think so. He's probably gone down there somewhere. Yes, there. Oh, no. That's actually an armored unit. I actually need to go down there. Don't I? Oh, no. He was taken out. Okay. Never mind. Good work, units. Yes. We're doing a good job, I must say. Okay. So I can pretty much take it easy now, I think, because the first initial rushing charge is over. And now all we have to do is keep them at bay for the remainder of this siege. Now what I'm actually hoping to do is to take King Harlow's prisoner, and these guys are trying to sneak by me. How dare you? Byron the Destroyer will destroy you. Yes. <laughs> uh, he will take you out of the fight, at least. In a very stylish fashion. Well, he. It depends. You're all dying in one hit. He doesn't really have much time to be stylish. Does he? No. That's another thing they could add to Mountain Blade 2, sweeping attacks, because at the moment you can only hit one target at a time, I believe, so it would be nice to be able to swing and hit three different targets in your cone of attack. That would be great. And 8 Renown once again, the previous episode, we actually gained 8 Renown from conquering Praven, so... Yes, they seem to like the number 8, where well, it is good luck in a few countries, so that's better for us. Oh, yes. Okay, so let's see. Oh, he managed to escape. That's a shame. Okay, well, seeing as we have sold our prisoners in the previous episode, we will be able to take a couple right here. Yes, I think that's good enough. Okay, and we were, <laughs> again, given lordly plate mittens. Well... Before we got, what was it? Lordly Mail Gauntlets. Yes, they were very nice indeed. Okay. So, yes, as you can see, I don't have any money whatsoever. But, we were successful in defending Praven. Now, the only issue is, Uxkarl is under siege from the Rodok Republic. Now, that is quite an issue, because, as you can see, I have no money. So, I think I'll head to the castle and speak to Chamberlain. Hello. 
Let us inspect the treasury. I want to withdraw money. Yes, this is the money that we got from the previous siege. Thank you very much. I'll take all of it. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so now we definitely want to level up a couple of units on our way to defend Uxkarl. Now, this is when I really wish that Lady Isola would actually have her own army because at the moment it just is not working out having only me as the <laughs> main defender. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we only have 133 out of 192 max army size. That is not great, is it? Ooh. Okay, well, just before we head off, I'm going to head to the tavern. hope the Ransom Broker is still here. Are these companions? That's rather strange. They appeared out of nowhere. Okay, great. Maybe they weren't here before and I had no idea. Okay. I want to sell all the prisoners. Yes, thank you very much. 1,600 dinars. Now let's talk to this guy. Greetings. I am Rolf, son of Rolf, of the most ancient house of Rolf. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hmm, I have never heard of the house of Rolf. Really? Well, perhaps your ignorance can be forgiven. Our ancestral lands are far away, over the mountains. Like all the men of my family, I have come to a foreign land to make a name for myself in the profession of arms before returning home to take over custodianship of my estates. Unfortunately, the authorities in these lands have little understanding of the warrior code and have chosen to call me a bandit and brigand and put a price on my head. A most unfair libel to throw at a gentleman adventurer, you will surely agree. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> but I am anxious to avoid any further trouble. So if you knew of any company of fighting men where I might enlist, I would be most grateful. Yes, thank you very much. Please join us. Aha. Note, however, that as a gentleman and the holder of a barony, I expect to be in a position of command and not be treated as one of the common soldiers. Oh, well, you have a magnificent moustache, so I think you'll fit in well here. <laughs> okay. Very well. I'll be glad to have you with us. Um, Lord Baron? Yes. <laughs> okay, so here's 300 dinars, and there we are. We have him in our party. Thank you very much. Now, who is this? Oh. Okay. Hey, pretty boy, have a glass of horse milk on me. Horse milk? <laughs> okay, well, thank you. What's the occasion? My victory, of course. I haven't been able to properly celebrate it since my jealous competitors drove me away. How could I help it if I was just the best archer at the yearly competition? Every year, the largest archery games of Caradia are held in my home village of Tolbuck. People from all over the Kirgit lands, and even beyond, travel there, some for months, to compete for the highest honor, being the Tolbuck champion, and the accompanying sum of money. Men and women, children and adults, friend or foe, everyone is equal when holding a bow that day. This year, it was my turn for glory. I hit all targets, beating everyone, only to be accused of cheating. How could they? Even though there was no evidence, I'm sure of it. The elders took a stance against me. In the middle of the night, I ran away as fast as I could. No need to await their judgment, for it was pretty clear what that would be. Here I am now, celebrating my victory with you. How could they? You know there is always a place at my side for a good archer. Yes, okay. At your side, I'll be able to prove to these lands my skills with the bow, and when they'll hear about my travels back home... They will beg for my return. Yes, hopefully. Okay, here's 200 dinars. Very cheap. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad they are cheap. Okay. So, we're definitely going to take these guys. We definitely need them. Oh, yes. And now, anyone upstairs? If there is, then I am happy. If there isn't, then okay. <laughs> Apparently not. Okay. Well, seeing as... I have a bit of cash, 4,700. I could go to the marketplace and sell. Okay, I won't sell the very good gauntlets that I've gotten because I could give those to our new companions. Yes, sell that, sell that. Okay, this, and I think the rest I can just sell, no problem at all. Yes, okay. Thank you very much. Now, do I need any more food. I think I might anyway. Thank you very much. Yes, and now what I want to do is manage this town, recruit some troops. How many do we want? 
You have 2,400. Can recruit three times. Oh, left here. Nice. Okay. Cool. One, Once more? Maybe another time? Yes, thank you very much. Okay, I'm left with 3,000. That should be enough. Hopefully, that will happen rather soonish, so as to prevent it from being taken. But for now, we're going to head back to Uxkarl and hopefully be in time to defend it from the Rodok Republic. Okay, here we go. We have a vassal traveling to Viancourt Castle. Hopefully, this isn't actually under siege anymore, but there is an army of enemies. No, an army of it. Oh my goodness. Wow. Have you seen this? Look at this. Okay, so how many they... Oh, they have 816. Oh, that is... Should I let it go? Oh no, this is terrible. I am nowhere near ready to defend against a force such as that. 800? I should just let them have it, shouldn't I? Uh, should I? Could we do it? 816, guys. How many did I have there? I had about 60, and I have only 200 against 800. I think I'm going to have to let it go. <sighs> okay, wait, 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 wait. We are going to save, and then we're going to go in, okay? Let's do it. Okay. Pass through the siege lines and enter Oxcarl. Yes, okay. Should we negotiate with them? <laughs> yeah, that's definitely going to happen. Okay, so 140 troops against 802. Hmm. Yeah, okay. We can do it. I have complete faith. Oh, oh yes, I remember. It's this layout, isn't it? Oh, I hate this castle layout. It is really annoying for the defenders to actually... Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I suppose it's annoying for the attackers as well, so we'll just have to deal with it, won't we? Okay, so let's hope that our units over there will quickly retreat and come back to our ladders here before they get all killed. <laughs> Which is actually happening right as we speak. Oh my, okay. So let's at least try and assist them a little bit with our amazing crossbow. 17 damage. Hmm. Not exactly amazing, is it? At least I hit someone, I suppose. Can't really complain. Okay, take him out. Yeah, okay, 39 damage. I can't complain as long as I hit. That is the main goal right here. Yeah, take out that guy, or at least do some damage to him. Not too bad, if I do say so. Oh, 17. Oh, really? I'm using a siege crossbow. It should do so much more damage. Oh, they are all so heavily armored, I believe. These guys. Oh, my. Oh, yes, 24 now. Okay, let's try and take out a few of these units right here. Oh, and I, of course, I miss the really near shot compared to the <laughs> far away one. Great. Okay, well... Let us take our positions near the ladders and attempt to keep them at bay. Let's do it. Come on. Hell yeah. Oh wow, this guy. He is a level 6 infantry. Oh, okay. Well, we are against Doge Graveth himself. So I would assume he has very high level units. And of course, helping him for all of that time was not the greatest idea, I suppose. Hopefully... Oh, what? Did you see that? Oh my goodness, that was a headshot. And a half. Oh my. <laughs> okay, well, apparently we are going to lose this, are we? I hope not, please. Oh my goodness, this guy has a huge lance. Who is this? I think this is a lord... Really? That is exactly what I needed to do. Really? Thank you so much, Byron. Ah. Okay, come on. We are never going to win this, are we? We are never going to win this. Look at this. Look at the map. It is covered in red. Let's at least take this guy out. Whoever he is. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, a level 7. Okay, well, we were never going to win this with level 7 infantry against us, I don't think. Oh, come on. Yes. Lady Gasola is getting a few kills. Come on. Let's head up here, guys. Come on. We must prevent them. Oh, 
Yeah, we've just gotten our reinforcements, but I don't think it will be in time, do you? Oh, I hope so. I really do hope so. Oh, my. Okay, come on. Come on. Let's slash him up. Let's slash him up. Okay. Ooh. Careful of that guy's shield. No. Got yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well... That is exactly why I had those crossbow units in my army when I was a part of the Rodok Republic. As you can tell, they are rather deadly. 25 damage he did in one shot. Can you imagine? Oh my goodness. Well. Yeah. I don't actually think this is going to happen. I really like to actually try everything I can, of course, because what is the fun if not trying to survive a battle of these odds, but unfortunately they just had better units. Well, they had higher level units, should we say. They're not better because we are amazingly good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, well actually, we're not doing too badly. Maybe if our forces can hold out for a little bit longer, then we may indeed see a victory. I somehow doubt it though, because if you can see here, we have what's... 20 we have 20 or so units here and the enemy is sending yeah a lot more than that <laughs> so I think we may see a defeat here and I will have to reload because obviously that is what saving is for and yeah I would not like to actually lose my army once again and just after having such a successful defense of Craven as well, that was really, really disheartening, I have to say. But maybe the rest of their units are all low-level peasants, which we can only hope. But I doubt it, because this guy has a huge shield, and they usually denote rather high tier. Although those cavalry level 6s that I recruited from the tavern are actually doing a really good job. I'm so happy about that. Come on, if we can defend this, let's do it, guys. Come on. This is when I wish I could take control of one of the units and actually participate. That would be great. Ah, damn. Okay, come on, guys. Come on. You have Moose Helm. Moose Helm power. There's someone in there with Moose Helm power. Oh, my. <laughs> yes, something tells me this is a defeat. Is it? Are we going to get more reinforcements for us? I don't believe so. We're going to get overrun, aren't we? Ah, that is a shame. That is a real shame. Because they fought very valiantly, what I maybe should have done was let them take it and then sneak attack siege it. And then take it like that. Because they would have only placed around 100 units in here and that wouldn't have been too much trouble for us to actually take. So we could have potentially done this. So, yeah, maybe that was a judgment call mistake on my part. Oh, that's a shame. Now that I think about it, I probably should have done that. But I was just so sad to actually think about letting it go, because obviously we'd fought tooth and nail to get it and claim it for ourselves. Ah, my goodness. If only the Rodox hadn't actually declared war. If they hadn't declared war, then we probably would have been completely fine now, obviously, because no one would be attacking us, as we'd taken out all of the Swadians. Ah, that is a shame. Okay, well, if we are going to fail, yes, I believe we are going to fail now. I was hoping that our units could pull out a miracle victory, but apparently not. So, seeing as this has run for about 25 minutes now, I will probably end this off here. Oh, poor guy. He's trying. Ah, never mind. We failed. That is a shame. Okay. Yes, I do know we were utterly crushed, but that is not a problem. Because we'll be able to reload the save, and it will be all good. So, I thank you for watching our rather... <laughs> hilarious victory against King Harlaus, and then our hilarious defeat at the hands of Doge Graveth, which was very sad indeed. But next time on Flores Expanded, I will have reloaded, so we won't have actually lost our army, thankfully. 
Otherwise, it would have taken me a, a ton of time to actually regain it. And as you can see, Praven has just been besieged, which is even worse. So we will most likely be going to defend that any time as well. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.